work and I am a circulation assistant at Kingwood Library and I have four beautiful children's books to show you. The first one is Shoe Baby and it's beautifully illustrated. It is by Joyce Dunbar and Polly Dunbar and it's the story of a little baby who gets caught in one of its dad's shoes and he has all kind of adventures. He becomes a dolphin and he rides through the town and he meets an elephant and he has flies in a plane. He has some, some wonderful adventures. But his dad and mom are really missing him. They can't find him. And so, and also the dad is saying, well, who took my shoe? Well, in the end, mom is crying because she can't find her baby. Dad is sad because he can't find his shoe. And the baby is in the shoe. He comes out of the shoe. Mom is happy to find her baby, and Dad is happy to find his shoe. So, and this is really beautiful. It is a gorgeous book, and it's illustrated very nicely. And the next three I have are big books, and they are beautiful illustrations, too. This is called A Splendid Friend Indeed by Suzanne Bloom. And it's a story of a duck and a bear, kind of strange friends. But the duck loves to read, and he loves to write. And the bear is always asking him, what are you doing? And, he's, and the duck says, I'm reading or I'm writing. And the bear is kind of looking at him like, well, that's strange. Those are strange things to like to do, and I'm not interested in those things. So they go on with it, and the duck tries to make friends. And finally the duck says, well, I'm going to make us a snack. And he comes back with a snack. And he comes back also with a little note for the bear telling him how much he likes him and how wonderful a friend he is. And in the end, the bear says that you are a wonderful friend too. And I thank you for your note and your snack. And I like you indeed, I do. And this next story is Walking Through the Jungle by Julie Lacombe. And it's got some beautiful illustrations too. And it's got a little boy who goes through the jungle. He hears all these sounds, and he hears the sound of a snake, and he hears the sound of a, of a lion and a tiger, and an elephant, and also a monkey. And then, the very end of it, he hears a sound, snap, 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 and he's wondering, what is that? And it's a crocodile. I hope he isn't hungry. Okay, and then this is kind of a favorite. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, but it's a little bit of a different take on it. And it's three little children with some animals. And they're singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And they have beautiful illustrations. We have flying cats and birds and cars and everything. And as they go through the world so high like a diamond in the sky, and when the blazing sun is gone, when nothing shines upon, and they finally come to the end of it, and the illustrations are just very, very beautiful. And they've gone through Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in a very different way. And I think all of these are books that you would enjoy, and they're beautifully illustrated and written. Hello, I'm Cameron Arsenault, and I would like to take this moment to talk about a book that I read and children will love called Diary of a Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kitty. This book is out is hilarious on an outrageous number of pages. It is about a boy named Greg Hathley and his many misadventures. For Greg, middle school is a war zone. Whether it's wrestling in gym class, or talent show in theater, or even getting grounded at home, Greg Hathley's ups and downs are nothing like you've ever read before. Kids will love Jeff Kitty's amazing writing skill displayed in this book. So check it out as soon as possible because I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Hello, my name's Catherine and I really like the American Girl series. This is one of the books in the series. It's called Meet Kit and it's really cool. They have Kit Adventures, Kit Mysteries, and like Felicity, Molly, Samantha, and lots of other ones. 